Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rust tutorial video brought to you by Rib. Don't worry, we're not going to be making them every day. While we're in the series of setting up Rust servers and the things you need, etc. These are just videos that need done for the series. I don't even pretend to be making tutorials every day. However, here we are. Today we're looking into a plugin. Um, this was the first plugin I added to my server after previously experiencing uh, a few a few random Rust servers. They all seem to have one thing in common, and that was the option to go forward slash kit, which then had um, whatever the server decides to put in there. For example, on my server, I have a forward slash kit. Um, one of the kits is a builder's plan, so you can have all the builder's materials you need to build a base, and you can only do that three times. I have the ability to go forward slash kit and get a load of diving gear, the forward slash go forward slash kit and get a load of uh, just materials, a load of fun, fun, there's a fun kit where you can get a guitar, whatever you'd add, it's up to you, but the way they do it, and an auto kit, main, main important thing being an auto kit, so that when you die, when you first log, um, when you respawn, you'll have the kit whatever you set, so this is how you do it, I'm going to go and take you through it, so first of all, the link down below is called Rust Kits, download this, and it'll be in your download folder, and then following on from the last video where we set up Oxide, which is the framework we use to set up um, to be able to use plugins. So inside Oxide, inside plugins, is where you're going to put kits. So then your server will load, automatically load that plugin. If it doesn't, you can use a command o.reload space kit with a capital K, but you shouldn't have to. You should automatically load. And when you're done, go on to your server. So I'm in the server. I've been messing around with these kits, re-familiarizing myself. So what we need to do is go forward slash um, and let's go to straight into it let's go to kit add kit add and we're going to go auto kit so this is the kit we're going to have when we first first spawn in but first of all let's give, give ourselves what we want aka we do want to rock we do want a torch let's get some sto stone tools um, of a bump and then we need a bow maybe and a spear Oh shit, we don't want a fishing rod. We want a spear. Um, okay. Once in boat, what about clothes? I'd like them to see it looking roleplay-ish. Other than just a bandit. Get some boats as well, mate. Get some boats. Happy days. Little beanie for the lords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to uh, bum, 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 bum. arrows. Get a few arrows. Or maybe a bit of food. Do, 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 do. Food. Couple of cooked bear meat. This man's lasting forever. Okay, let's put this kit on. Happy days! Right, so this is my auto kit. When I die, I want the, my players to automatically spawn again with this stuff so you can get going again. And then from there, we can add our whatever kit we want. Like the, like I said, like the building kit, like the fun kit, etc. So, what we need to do now is another command. We just added the kit itself called Auto Kit. This time, we're going to go to Kit, Space, blah, 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 Items. That's the items I've got in my inventory and that I've got on. Anything I've got, item-wise. Space, Off Level 2. Off Level, Space 2. Because we don't want anybody to be able to redeem this. This is an automatic kit. Every time you die, space hide, space true. Okay, it's enter on that. So the items are copied from your inventory. Off level set to two, hide set to true. Happy days. Hey! Right, what we're gonna do now? Let's kill ourselves. Kill. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we respawn with that equipment that we just set. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We have indeed. So, just for the sake of it, prove it works. Do it again. F1. Kill. Okay. Respawn. There's the kit. Okay, one thing I need to show you that wasn't shown on previous videos when I come to learn this. 
is in the to be able to set up the kits you need to give the admin the permission to do this so scrolling down it does tell you how to do it but it can be a little confusing so what you need to do is in your console you need to type in oxide dot grant space group space admin space and the permission it's there kits dot admin kits dot admin if you don't do this first guys i should have said at the beginning sorry if you don't do this first you won't be able to do this okay do that so this is what you need to do so press enter and then it'll lock it'll give the permission to the admin to be able to set up the kits like we're doing now that wasn't shown in a video i watched when i set up myself up and got familiar with this plugin but that's what you need to do okay so following on what we want to do now is i want to set up some random kits um, bum, bum, bum. Like I say, you can set up your builder's kits and all that sort of things. I'm just going to set up a couple of spicy little, little kits just because it's testing purposes. Like, for instance, on my server, like we've got when you go forward slash kit. On my server, you've got a builder's kit. So you can get, you've got a ton of wood, a ton of stone, a couple of code locks, some doors, all that sort of thing. Uh, you've got the fun kit where you can have a guitar, a piano, spicy things. Uh, a diver's kit so you can go dive and you can only rede redeem these a certain amount of times but that's on my server this is for for testing purposes the so same again let's make a kit this time we're going to make a uh, stacked out rebel kit actually this uh this server's staying up now that's on it stacked out rebel kit with a ak if you want to jump on a server straight away with an ak mate this is the one um bu -bu -bu -bu. a combat knife this man's stacked Tire. Let's give him Wolfhead. Oh, this is a redeemable kit. Okay, Wolfhead. T shirt. Trousers. Boats. My jacket is pretty pants. Road sign jacket, yes, mate. Need some ammo for that AK. Right. Let's put this gear on. So this can be oh, this can be a little like rebel class and rebel kit. So what we need to do on this one, guys, pretty simple. So go to forward slash kit, add rebel. Okay. Now what we want to do is go forward slash kit, space items. So it's all the items in my inventory again. So, max, how many times do we want them to be able to re redeem this AK? It's going to be three times per server wipe for me of a cooldown. You can only do it once every 24 hours, which is 86,400 seconds. So, let's set that kit. Enter. The items were copied from the inventory. Now, when we, as an admin, go forward slash kit, go to add kit. And then we leave the auto kit, but add the rebel in, and there she is. You can redeem this kit three times per server wipe. Okay. Right, so let's get rid of this. Alright, so I'm just a normal player. I'm just a normal player. Forward slash kit. Oh, the only class in here at the minute is a rebel kit. I can redeem that. Oh, close that. Now I am stacked out now. Sweet as. So that rebel kit's all working. Um, I will add a, a starter kit as well. So go to forward slash kit. Add um, starter. Do, 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 do. What should we put a noob kit? Okay, we've got a noob kit. So let's get rid of all this in our inventory. The noob kit. Let's get some. Uh, basically, that stopped the auto kit, pretty much. Let's go with a bow, spear, some primitive tools. Do do the rock. Yep, the rock. Okay, and maybe. Bum, 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 bum. So this is a redeemable starter kit.
Oh, get out of doors. I want a torch. No, that is a stop kit. Let's leave it. Ha ah, now, buddy! Okay, this is the noob kit. Hiya! So we go to forward slash kit. Items. Max. Um, you can get this noob kit at least 50 times of a cooldown. 86 or 400 was 24 hours. We don't need it to be 24 hours. So we just don't, we don't even need a cooldown, do we? Or do we? Nah, don't need a cooldown on that. Okay, so now let's go to forward slash kit as an admin. Add a kit in the, into the GUI, into the interface. Interface, go to the noob kit. And now we have the noob kit. Happy days. So that pretty much, guys, you can go on and add as many kits as you wanted. I'll probably be putting this server back to a back to a vanilla server, so this lot doesn't really matter. But you go and add, add as many kits as you like. I hope it helps. If it does, hit the like, subscribe. Like I said, the, the, the Rust content, it's not going to be an everyday thing, boys. It's just for my own benefit, for your benefit, for in the future. We haven't need to look back to it. If I just need to look back to it anyway to remind myself something, these videos are here. You know? Take care, boys. Hit the like. Peace out. Turn off for new.